Arrays. An array is the simplest structure. It's just a list of items stored next to each other in memory. You can think of it like a row of mailboxes, each holding one piece of data. If you know the index or the position of an item, you can grab it instantly. That's why arrays are great for fast lookups. But they're not so good at inserting or removing items, because shifting everything around takes time. Linked lists. A linked list fixes that problem. Instead of storing everything side by side, each element, called a node, stores its own data and a pointer to the next one. It's like a scavenger hunt. To get to the next clue, you follow the link. This makes inserting or deleting items easy because you just change a couple of links. But it makes searching slower because you have to follow the chain one node at a time. Stacks. A stack is built on the idea of last in, first out. Imagine stacking plates. The last one you put on top is the first one you take off. You can only add or remove from the top. Stacks are great for things like undo operations, function calls, and parsing expressions. Queues. A queue is the opposite. First in, first out. Think of people waiting in line for coffee. The first person to get in line is the first to be served. Queues are used in scheduling, buffering, and anywhere you process items in order. Hash tables. Now, let's make data retrieval instant. A hash table uses a function to turn a key, like someone's name, into a unique number called a hash. That hash tells us where to store or find the value in memory. It's like a supercharged phone book. Hash tables make lookups, inserts, and deletes almost instant, but they can get messy if two keys end up in the same spot, which we call a collision. Trees. A tree stores data in a hierarchy, like a family tree or a folder system. Each item, called a node, can have children. The top node is the root, and the leaves are the endpoints. Trees are powerful because they let you search, insert, and delete efficiently while keeping data sorted. Binary search trees, for example, divide the data so you can find items quickly just like a guess the number game. Heaps a heap is a special kind of tree used for priority management. The smallest or largest value always sits at the top. That's why heaps are used for priority queues, like managing tasks that must be done in order of importance. It's fast to find the most important item, but not great for searching arbitrary ones. Graphs. Finally, graphs. Graphs are about relationships. They connect nodes with edges. Think of social networks, maps, or web links. Each node is an entity, and edges show connections. Graphs help us model everything from friend suggestions to GPS routes. They can be directed or undirected, weighted or unweighted, depending on how connections behave. 